Sharon and I met back in, I think about 1983. I, I hope that was the right year. Is that the right year, honey? Scott and I met in 1981. I came from a dysfunctional family, and basically as soon as I graduated high school, yes, that's how old I am, I said goodbye to everybody, and I bought a one-way ticket, and my aunt lived in New Jersey, and she knew where I was coming from, and she had always said, if you ever need a place to go, you can always come here. So when Sharon moved from uh, Michigan to uh, New Jersey, her aunt kind of set us up on a, like a little, she wanted me to show her around. My favorite time is always gonna be the time that I get to spend with my family. And I love to cook. And one of, it's kind of silly, but one of the, the most enjoyable times that I have is football season. I love cooking, and you have to understand that I love to cook, so cooking to me for football isn't wings and potato chips and French onion dip. It's minted meatballs and yogurt sauce or homemade falafel and tahini and tabbouleh and hummus, and it's all homemade. The two of us have so many things in common. We love motorcycles. I mean, I, I thought that when I met her, I never thought, you know, 30 years later I'd be riding a 1915 motorcycle across the country and she's beside me on one. I mean, that's pretty freaking amazing to do that. We like the same kind of music. Um, we love to travel. Uh, we've got two beautiful daughters. We both have the same work ethic. You know, it's, it's, we have so many things in common. They say opposites attract, but also, people that have a lot of the same things in common tend to stay together a long time because you do have that. One of my favorite things is cooking for my daughters. And I get a lot of pleasure when I cook and I can use the things that I've actually planted and grown myself. You know, Scott likes to ride and that's what actually got me into riding was saying that it blew the cobwebs out of his head and I really was envious of that. And so now my gardening kind of brings me that. So look at this tomato plant. Seriously, is this the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? It's huge. It's only been in the ground for maybe a month. And I have all serranos. Everything I like to cook with is what I plant. So my girls are coming over tomorrow and I get to make them my favorite breakfast, which is actually feta cheese and fresh basil from the garden. So I can't wait. She, she talks and, and cooks and eats and <laughs> cooks and talks and eats. And cooks and eats. <laughs> and she eats some more. We eat from what we grow in our garden. And I think I'm happy I got that from her. Prime, my <laughs> puppy. Gardening? Yeah. What, like you're good at it? You killed that plant. It, Prime killed that plant. No, I'm talking about <laughs> the one that was swimming in water inside the house, the purple little flowers. Oh gosh, that died before I even watered it the first time. Oh.